waiting for you to sit down. <laughs> Hello everybody and welcome to The Wire Barn. I'm Maddie and today we're going to be talking about GXL and TXL wires and what you need to know about them before using them. GXL and TXL wires are heavily used in automotive manufacturing and was used to replace the lower quality PVC wires, which were used extensively in the 60s, 70s, 80s, and even into the 1900s. GXL and TXL are found in a wide range of applications in the transportation and industrial commercial industries, from tractors, trailers, cars, specialty vehicles, and machinery. It's found all over the place. So today we'll be going over what they have in common, their differences, and when to use one or the other. So let's get into it. Now don't get me wrong, both types of wiring are good to use because they have a lot of things in common. For example, they both have cross-length polyethylene insulation, which has great abrasion resistance and is also lighter than traditional wire. It also has great chemical resistance to oils, gas, and engine fluids. But wait, there's more. They both have the same multi-stranded copper conductors inside, which has the same diameter, same materials, same stranding. They both have excellent temperature ranges from negative 51 degrees Celsius to 125 degrees Celsius, which is 257 degrees Fahrenheit. They both meet the SAE J1128 specification and they both can be bent around a fairly tight radius. And finally, both are low voltage wire types. So they have 60 volts max. Now let's go ahead and get into talking about the differences between the two wires. So the GXL wire has a larger diameter than the TXL. The TXL is around 10 to 15% thinner than the GXL. The TXL is also lighter than the GXL per foot because of the slightly thinner insulation. While both wires meet the SAE J1128 specification, the GXL also meets the Ford and Chrysler specifications. For more on that, you can click the link in the description where we've included the specific specifications for each wire. Finally, when it comes to extremely tight radius bends, the TXL wire would be the winner for that. So now that we've covered the differences and the similarities for each wire, you're probably wondering which one is better or which one should I use? Well, let's get into that. Here are some reasons to choose the GXL over the TXL. When you want the maximum abrasion resistance possible, this is when you would choose the GXL wire. The insulation is slightly thicker, which affords more protection. And who doesn't love that? Also, the GXL wire would be perfect if you're looking for slightly thicker insulation than what the TXL offers. Now, let's go over reasons to choose the TXL over the GXL. When you're looking for the thinnest insulation possible, this is when you would choose the TXL. This is often the case when building intricate wire harnesses for newer model vehicles. The GXL can be too thick to insert into the connector housing after crimping. The TXL wire solves this problem with its slightly thicker insulation, reducing the overall crimped diameter. Another reason would be if you're looking for a weight reduction. The TXL is up to 15% lighter than the GXL, but that mostly goes for the smallest gauges because when the wire diameter is small, the insulation makes up a larger percentage of the overall weight. With heavy gauges, the copper is the majority of the weight, but you can still see around a 10% reduction in the weight from using the TXL wire. And there we have it. One more thing before we go, I got the joke of the week for you. Are you ready? How was copper wire created? Two Scots fought over the same petty. <laughs> Let me know if you laughed, because that was pretty funny. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, make sure to leave a like. And if you have any questions, comments, or thoughts about future videos we should make, leave a comment down below. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe for more videos because we'll be uploading videos every week. And last but not least, make sure to check out wirebarn.com for all your wiring needs. Thanks so much everyone for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye! You can stop the video now.